We're so thrilled that we have Vicki Gold with us. Vicki, thank you for being with us. You're welcome. And uh, we originally scheduled to have you on on Tuesday, but thrilled to be able to get you today because I wanted to talk with you about MIT Scratch. Can you first tell us what MIT Scratch is? Um, it's it's a program. It's it's a program for. Uh, well, I should. I really shouldn't say kids because they usually meet in college now. But it, um, it's a program that teaches students how to program. And it's come, it comes out of the MIT Lifelong uh, Childhood, let, let's see, Childhood um, Kindergarten Group. And um, it's a drag and drop environment, so no one has to read code. And so one of the things why it's for children, it's because they don't have to write any code and everything is color coded. So it fits together like a puzzle. So if you want to write a game, everything just, you drag it over, you drag your code over. And um, it's, it's really very uh, magical. Um, it's a very exciting thing. My son recently, this is how I found out about it, our local library was doing a class in MIT yeah. Scratch. And, and he was able to go to it, I think it was a four week program, and he loved it. And, and we need to say, Vicki, that this was not invented for kids on the autism spectrum, but it's something, oh. it's something that is amazing when you have a child who's interested in computers. And we specifically, I contacted the MIT Scratch people uh, last week and said, I, well, I want somebody to come on and talk about it. And they recommended you because you actually use this with yeah. students with autism, correct? Right. Um, mainly with Asperger's students, but I've done it with both. Um, and I think it's great with both. Um, the Asperger students who have a real kind of um, desire and ability to program just take to it um, amazingly because they're just so talented in programming that um, it, it, it becomes kind of like a home for them. And let me say that on their website, one of the wonderful things about this and that's really, really good for the autistic kid is that there's five mil just short, just short of five million games that's on the website. Wow. And there's like each kid talks to each kid. I mean, they don't have to talk to all five million, but they <laughs> rate each other's games. They, they talk to them. They can remix each other's games, which means is they can look inside each other's games, see what code it is, and then change it and say, I've now remixed your games. And then from there, someone else can remix the game and it can keep getting better and better and better. And so there's this wonderful kind of communication that goes on between the students. And this is something that's really great for the student who's very either very shy and not very confident about the talking, or the student who may dominate the class because they're so excited about the programming. Yeah. And so this gives them at home or in, or in a scratch class, you know, 100% attention. There's wikis, there's Twitter, there's five million children to talk to. Um, <laughs> it's, it's exciting. It's, it's really just an amazing thing. And there's even Scratch Day that's coming up on May 17th, where people, when uh, students from all around the world all scratch together, and they have a big uh, party at MIT, but if you can't make it, they have parties all around the world. And they try to um, uh, videotape as much as they can, depending on the time zones and things like that, of uh, who's doing what. 
Well, I love this, Vicki. I think it's incredible. And we want to tell folks watching, first of all, about the program that you do so that if they're in your area, uh, we want to, well, first, Emily's got the site up to tell them if you're not in Vicki's area, anywhere that you're at, you can go to this website. There's a bunch of information. Emily's been showing you the website while we were talking. Um, and anybody can get started on this pretty much today.